this is Kishan and today we are going to discuss about SQL code and SQL error message. Now before going to both of them, first let us understand what are an exception. Exception are runtime error that are, that are raised in a PLSQL block. Now that can be an anonymous block or a procedure or a function or a trigger. Anything that raised while the execution of the PLSQL block or the Oracle object are termed as exceptions. There are many st Oracle stored exceptions such as no data found, too many rows, invalid cursor, etc. which we can find within a range of uh, Oracle co SQL code given as minus 1 to minus 20,000. Then from minus 20,000 to 20,999 are, are given for user defined exceptions. Uh, so now we will talk about SQL code. Now SQL code returns the error number associated with the most recently raised exception. And SQL error message returns the error message associated with the recently raised SQL code. Or if we pass an SQL code as an input parameter to, to this SQL ERRM procedure, it will give the error message associated with that SQL code. I'll just demonstrate that to you with a simple example. So first of all, for this example, I'll be using the employees table of the HR schema. So I'll just write a simple SQL block and I'll try and raise an exception. What I'll do is, I'll try and take a salary of any particular department that has more than one record. So as we can see, department number 60 has so many records, I'll just use I'll say select salary into this variable what we did from employees table where department ID is equal to 90. So when we do like this it will raise a um, too many rows exception because you know there are many rows for department number 90 and we are trying to get it to a single variable so let's see the how the exception is raised so as we can see we have got an error report which has an error number ORA 01422 and the error message exact fetch returns more than requested number of rows at this line and what is the cause and what can be the pro probable actions that we can take so this is an exception you know runtime error now how to handle it is we can use this optional exception block in the PLSQL program. We can catch the exception by naming it here like when um, too many rows or you know those kind of exceptions but I will just write the general one when others then when others then will catch any exception that is raised. Normally over here you will be storing the exception into a lock table but for your simple understanding I will just display it on the screen. So what I will do is I will just write over here the SQL code. So SQL code over here and we will see what is the SQL code that we get. I will just clear this out. So as you can see when we write SQL code we get minus 1422. This is the same SQL error code that we got when we executed it. Executed it without the exception block. Now I will show you how SQL ERRM works. We just write SQL ERRM. There is no need to declare any variable or anything. So this line is the SQL error message. It gives me the SQL code first and then the error message. Normally you will be getting bo using both these variables and storing them into the lock table. As you can see there is no new variable declaration done or anything. Nothing such is needed. You can directly use it. But always make sure that when you are using SQL error message, this message can be pretty long. So always try and you know take a substring of the message as per the column length and then use it. It can be done with simple like sub str that is substring our string and the input parameters from where to where I want like I want from the first character to the 50th character. So it will take only show me only that much currently you can see exact fetch returns more than num requests number of rows. 
so now when i do it it takes only the 50 50 things 50 characters not more than that otherwise this would again not insert into your lock table and then generate an exception so this is basic sql code and sql error message now as i told you in the slide that if you don't uh, pass an any variable to this sql error message procedure what is done is it takes the recently raised sql code and throws the error message for that sql code now what if you do pass something to it when you do something like that let me take this example what i'll do is i'll pass some variable to this exception I'll just print it on the screen. DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line SQL error message and let me pass minus one four double two. So if I pass this SQL code, I forgot this semicolon over here at the end. When I pass it, it shows me the error message for this particular error number. So for minus one four double two, this is it. So you can also, whenever you have an error code and you want to look at the message for this error code, just pass that error code as an input parameter to our SQL ERRM procedure, and you will get the error message. So this is it. This is guys. This is what is SQL code and SQL error message. I hope you like this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and please do let me know your thoughts in the comment. This is Kishan signing off. Thank you.